Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a what the what the check. I'm so tired on Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker on their alleged final breakup, if they even were dating all this time. Because showing up and posing publicly does not mean you're in a real relationship. Preach. So we've done three videos. That's why I'm holding up four, four fingers because we've done three. We've actually done three videos on uh, Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker. Once when they were like breaking up or like about to break up and then when they got back together, they really just didn't get good cards. I mean, they just, they just didn't. And one of the first videos that we did on them, they got the Eight of Cups, which is a classic breakup card. So when they said that they got back together, I was just always really skeptical of that because the Eight of Cups is such a guillotine card of like the end of a relationship, like someone's leaving, they're not getting what they need. So when we did the video about like whether or not they were back together, there were enough reversals there to suggest like maybe they were kind of pasting something together. But I, I, I have my doubts. So Devin is a Scorpio with a Gemini moon. Kendall is a very interesting Scorpio. So she's a Scorpio sun with an Aries rising and an Aries moon. So Kendall's ruled by Mars. You know, Aries and Scorpio are the two signs of the zodiac ruled by Mars. Scorpio's ruled by Mars and Pluto. So like, I mean, she would be a bitter enemy if you fought Kendall Jenner. And the times like that I've watched episodes of the show where she's been upset about something, like she doesn't let people forget how upset she is. Like she really puts on a whole like sulking, storming, yelling, like the whole nine. And she's also 5'11", so she could probably throw me over her shoulders and, you know, throw me off a balcony if she wanted to. So let's just jump right in and let's start asking some questions. So have Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker been in a monogamous relationship since August, which was the last time we did a video on them? Okay. Who has ended this relationship? Was this a real relationship? Or were there contracts involved in this relationship? How does Devin feel about Kendall? How does Kevin feel about De Devin? Where's the energy heading? So this is kind of s similar to what we normally do. It's almost the same number of cards, but we're asking really specific questions here. So have they been dating since August? Hmm. Okay, so we got the page of pentacles in reverse. I'd say no. So, I mean, number one, this isn't even a card of like couples or partnership or unity or love or emotion. Like the pages are youthful characters. I think this, I mean, it could symbolize either of them really. And this is someone who's like upright. They're in touch with the physical world. They, you know, they're forging a good relationship with money and things that have value. And they have like a healthy respect for this 3D reality you know, that sort of things. It can, you know, the, the pages or this page of pentacles can represent like, you know, new forays into the physical world. In reverse, it's like destabilized, as we always say, like, you know, like up is down, left is right, it's destabilized, you know, and the thing of value could fall out of your hands. So they are saying no, they have not been in a traditional monogamous relationship. In fact, this is even suggesting a relationship. So yeah, so there's that. Okay. Who broke up with who? Hmm. That's interesting. So we got the five of wands. So this symbolizes that like the handlers were involved. So I'm inclined to believe that contracts were involved in this, in this read, in this relationship. Cause like five of wands, it's like generating more heat than light. It's too many cooks in the kitchen, too many, you know, hands in the dish. Is that an expression? But like, you know, as you can see, you know, it's not angry, it's not violent. You know, these young men aren't beating each other with their wands, but, you know, they don't have a cohesive view on what they're actually trying to do here. Like, it almost seems like Kendler's, Kendler's, Kendall's handlers were like, we, we got to give her a relationship. We've got to give her something like this doesn't look right that she's not seeing anyone, that she doesn't have this handsome guy connected to her name. So it's almost like they weren't really sure what to do with her. And so he was just kind of like, you know, putting a Band-Aid on her romantic life. And when it came to ending the relationship, it was, it's almost like it was a group effort, you know, to decide, you know, when to end it. 
um, it's almost like they were unclear of what they wanted from this relationship and they were unclear with of like how to end it. So that's interesting. Okay. And was this a traditional relationship or were contracts involved? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So we got the world card. So the world card, as we say, it's ruled by Saturn. So it's a card of pressure. It's a card of like boundaries and parameters. And it's also a card of like karma, karma coming full circle. And part of the way that karma comes full circle is like you're being observed, you know. And so we have here the bull, the lion, the eagle, and the virgin. So we have, you know, the uh, beings connected to the fixed signs, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. And they're sort of like observing your actions from the past and how that's going to manifest in your future and also in your present. So when we ask, like, were there contracts involved? I would say yes, just because it seems like, you know, sure, the world is a card of limitless possibility, but it's it's not a it's not terribly a lovey dovey card. It can be, it has that potential to be, but this is also a card of like being observed and clear boundaries and parameters. And it's also because it's ruled by Saturn, which is like a card of boundaries and parameters. And yes, you can, no, you can't, like rules and tradition. I'm, I'm imagining that there was some sort of contract involved. Okay, so what does Devin think of Kendall? How does he think and feel about her? Oh, okay. Well, we've gotten this card for other relationship spreads we've done, haven't we? So we got the Six of Cups. So not a romantic card. Not not by a long shot. This, so this is, you know, the Freaky Friday card. Like, oh, I get what it's like to be in middle school. Oh, I get what it's like to be in kindergarten. You know, it's like older Jedi, younger Jedi. And, you know, having that compassion and understanding for each other in a safe environment, in the safe walled garden. So this is like, he views her as like a little sister. You know, like they view each other almost as siblings. So there is that care for each other. That care, that compassion, but that's not a romantic love. That's not the, like, I'm going to give you a jump, you know? And how does Kendall feel about Devin? Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So Nine of Pentacles upright, it's the self-made woman in her self-made garden with her bird as a pet. Looking good, feeling good, just got her abundance. So when this comes, card comes up in reverse, this is interesting. So we were like, well, how does... Kendall feel about Devin, it's almost like he's a projection of how she feels about herself. So she feels destabilized. So like Kendall looks like she has it all. She's got this thriving modeling career. She's probably got several mansions, good net worth, well connected. But like for all of that, for all the abundance that's here, she doesn't feel quite right about things or about herself, you know? And that is projected onto how she feels about other people. If I'm not right with me, how can I be right with you? You know, dear YouTuber person who's watching this video, right? If if mama's not okay with mama, how can mama be okay with you? I think I made my point, right? So, again, we don't out people on this channel, but, like, I have heard whispers about, like, Kendall, like... Maybe not being as interested in men as others, you know? I, I, I can't confirm that. I'm not Kendall. Like, I, that is something I've, I, I've definitely wondered about her, like, watching the show. I was like, oh, I wonder if she's, like, even into guys. So, I mean, we don't know. And we're not going to pull a card about that because that's her business. But, you, you know, I think we'd all enjoy an episode <laughs> devoted to that question on the show. I think that'd be really interesting. Okay, and finally, where is the energy heading? Oh, well, justice, which I think that, you know, justice is man-made karma, man-made resolutions. So the, this card typically comes up for the justice of the police stations, our court systems, you know, the karma that we can devise in our own lives through, like, editorials. You know, the Me Too movement was its own form of justice to a certain extent. You know, exposing people, truth, you know, victims being able to tell their stories. The, this all falls under the justice card. But also I think it's just that, like, the vibe I get is that Devin's gonna get his freedom again and he's gonna be able to just like, you know, have his autonomy from the family, which is energetically what I feel like he wants. Like, it, it's time to move on, you know what I mean? So that's what I got for you guys. Comment below, tell, put it in the comments. Did you think this was a real relationship? If you did, please explain why. If you didn't, I got you. 
like and subscribe and as always 